Helen Russell, The Year of Living Danishly, My 12 Months Unearthing the Secrets of the World's Happiest Country. In this summary of The Year of Living Danishly, My 12 Months Unearthing the Secrets of the World's Happiest Country, by Helen Russell, you will discover what makes Denmark stand out from other countries when it comes to happiness. You will learn about the concept of hygge, their work mentality, the importance of hobbies and clubs, and the role of traditions in Danish culture. In addition, you will uncover the benefits of Danish parenting and childcare systems and how genetics play a hand in the overall happiness of the Danes. Discovering Hygge Denmark's Cozy Lifestyle Concept When you think of Denmark, Lego, freezing cold weather, and a perplexing language come to mind. However, another word has emerged as a favorite concept among Danes recently, hygge. Although the definition of hygge is challenging to explain, it refers to a cozy and pleasant household ambience. During winter, Danes love to stay indoors with their family and friends, and that's the hygge time. Hygge can also function as a descriptive adjective or verb and is connected with home, people, food, drinks, and chilly weather. It is a lifestyle that includes spending quality time with loved ones, enjoying comfort food, and being cozy. To achieve such an ambience, Danish people transform their homes into tranquil paradises of warmth and comfort. They maintain tidy surroundings and make use of cozy corners with various lamps, ceiling chandeliers, floor, and table lamps, as well as candles that emit soothing scents and a warmer mood. Cushions and blankets for the winter-slash-spring season enhance the coziness factor, and small things can make this concept worthwhile. Research has shown that having a stylish, comfortable, and neat home makes people happy. A study conducted in 2011 by the University College London shows that dopamine releases in the brain when you look at something beautiful. Thus, Huga contributes to Danish happiness by creating a soothing atmosphere that reduces stress and offers the feeling of serenity and comfort. Denmark's Work Happiness Secret Denmark has the most satisfied employees in the European Union due to their work-life balance, societal views on career aspirations, and social welfare system. With a 37-hour workweek and no pressure to work overtime, Danes prioritize doing something they love over earning maximum salary. Additionally, Denmark's free education system enables young people to choose professions they enjoy, while low barriers to changing careers are supported by an expanded unemployment insurance system and lifelong training programs financed by companies, labor unions, and the government. The Danish Approach to Happiness The Danish lifestyle revolves around the concept of hygge, coziness and contentment. One crucial aspect of this lifestyle is the cultivation of hobbies that increase happiness. Denmark has a whopping 80,000 registered associations, with each Dane belonging to 2.8 of them statistically. The government supports these clubs by providing free space and subsidies for membership costs. The clubs bond people of all professions, and cycling is a popular leisure activity that everyone enjoys. The government has paved 7,500 miles of bike paths and all taxis are required to have bike racks. This commitment to hobbies and leisure time is a key reason why Denmark is consistently ranked as one of the happiest countries in the world. Danish Traditions and Patriotism Denmark's cultural traditions and patriotism play an essential role in the nation's happiness. The confirmation ceremony is an important tradition that symbolizes a child's coming of age and belief in God. After the ceremony, Danes celebrate with large meals, speeches, and presents, making it a significant event in their lives. Research shows that traditions create a sense of stability and affiliation that people find comforting in a constantly transforming world. Patriotism is another crucial factor in Danish happiness, with the Danabrog flag being a symbol of the nation's pride. Displaying the flag is considered a way of showing love for the country, leading to a sense of community and happiness. Studies also suggest that patriotism can contribute to overall well-being, making Danish traditions and patriotism a significant and fascinating topic. The Danish Approach to Parenthood 
Imagine a world where parents can spend the first year with their children without any work obligations. In Denmark, this is not just a dream, but a reality, as Danish law allows for 52 weeks off work per child. This system has significant benefits, including improved child health and reduced maternal depression rates. It also allows fathers to spend more time with their families and form bonds with their children. Additionally, Denmark guarantees affordable day care for children from 6 months to 6 years old, with the state covering up to 75% of the costs. This approach has resulted in higher rates of men's involvement in child rearing and increased happiness for both men and women. Overall, Denmark's approach to parenthood fosters a comfortable and fulfilling environment for families, and other countries may want to follow suit. Genetic Distance and Happiness The genetic distance within a population plays an important role in its overall happiness. The more similar the genes are among a population, the happier and more content it is. Studies suggest that Denmark, with the least distance between the genes of its population, has a biological heritage of contentment. Additionally, having an abundance of the 5-HTT gene in the brain enhances mood and contributes to happiness. Denmark has one of the highest levels of this gene in the world. The happier a country's people are, the more similar its genetic pool is to that of Denmark. Denmark has consistently been named one of the happiest countries in the world, and through this summary, we learned some key factors that contribute to their overall happiness. The concept of hygge plays a crucial role in focusing on comfort, cozy surroundings, and quality time with loved ones. A healthy work-life balance, flexibility in career choices, and the importance of hobbies and clubs ensure Danes have a sense of connection and community. Traditions and patriotism strengthen their sense of identity, while progressive parenting policies and affordable childcare lead to thriving, close-knit families. Lastly, we also discovered that genetics play a role in Denmark's happiness, with certain genes linked to improved well-being. By diving into Denmark's culture and lifestyle, we can all learn valuable lessons on achieving happiness in our own lives.